What is going on guys? Today we're going to bring you a very quick guide on how to install the Path of Building Community Fork. So Path of Building is designed to show you exactly what you need for builds. Now people in the community make builds and then they create a Path of Building for them. So you can go through and specifically find what skill points to be putting in your passive tree as you level, what items you should be looking for, what skill gems get linked with what, and it's just super helpful if you're new to Path of Exile. So the first thing that you're gonna do is type in Path of Building Community Fork in Google and either take the first or the second link. Locate the download button and download it and install it. Once you have Path of Building Community Fork installed, we suggest typing into Google Path of Exile whatever league you're in or going to be joining and look for starter league builds. PoE Vault is a great place to find builds in Path of Exile. Now, Roots from the Path of Exile community was generous enough to make us a Path of Exile Trial of the Ancestors League Starter Guide, where he has numerous builds you can choose from, and for us, we chose the Pox Righteous Fire Inquisitor build. After clicking on the Pox Righteous Fire Inquisitor build link, you can find the step number two where you can see POB, passive skill tree, and gem links. After clicking on that, you'll be able to find the community fork path of building information. In the top right corner, you'll be able to copy a URL. And then all you have to do is open up your path of building community fork app go to the top left corner where it says import slash export build. Under the section where it says to import a build, enter the URL, you're just gonna paste the information from before into this and hit import. Congratulations, you now have your first path of building build put in to the app. Now the really cool thing about this is the creators of these builds usually have a progression guide for things like the passive tree, the skill gems you're gonna need, and items. This will help you stay on track for leveling, but also once you get into the end game of Path of Exile, you're going to be able to take their information that they provide and fine tune your character to be the best it possibly can. As we're leveling a character in Path of Exile, we usually have our Path of Building opened on our second screen. That way, as we level, we can put the passive points into where it is suggested in the build. We can also keep a lookout for the skill gems we're gonna need, as well as the gear that we should be looking for to help us survive. On the configuration tab of this build, we can see that we want to kill all of the bandits. We hope this basic video covers a little bit about the Path of Building Community Fork app that really helps new players in Path of Exile succeed. If this video helped you at all, make sure you like it and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Have fun and peace.